Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I promised you a room tour of my craft room when it was eventually finished. So this is my craft room. Remember I've been in the process of moving from upstairs to downstairs. So um, I, when I moved downstairs I lost my closet. Uh, so I had to buy storage uh, units to put my stuff on because I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff. So um, I'm going to share with you uh, my new room. So stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, the first thing we did was we added these French doors um, into my room. It was a solid door, but now it's a French door. So I'm going to open it up and show you what's my office now. So here we go. So here we open up the door and I have this new unit that I got at uh, Michael's. Uh, we put this together and it was on the clearance rack and I got it really cheap. I think it was like 30 to $40 uh, on the clearance rack. Um, and then all this on the bottom is all my rubber stamps. So all those bins there are rubber stamps rubber stamps rubber stamps and embellishments in the black and white thing is all my stickers uh tablets and then on the top of that i have all my new bins that i just bought because i wanted them all matching and each one has something different in it i have ribbon punches yarn happy mail stuff i have long notepads um duct tape paints uh roller stamps glue you name it i have it up there in these bins so that's that there and on the side is all my cut ribbon this is a hanging thing that i took off my door because now i'm not allowed to put anything on my door because i have the french door so i hung it on the unit so and then in each of these things is my cut ribbon i try to ask my kids to go through these ribbon things first before they go through my big spool of uh ribbon so so that's that there and then moving across i moved my paper bin here this is all my 12 by 12 paper and in the boxes below are sorted stickers and papers of certain categories. So like I have a full box, um, an animals box, a baby's box. I have a love wedding box. I have a winter box, a summer box. So they're in, everything is in those boxes down there. Then I have Christmas and Hanukkah and the, the red and blue bins there and then I have all my papers sorted up to the top and on the very top I have my wedding and my Hanukkah stuff and I have a basket full of scraps so I'm telling my kids take the scrap bin first and uh, before you take any of my 12 by 12 papers so they have to sort through that pink bin that's on the top is all scraps so moving across I had another bin on another rack on my door that I wasn't able to use. So I hung it on the other side of this and this has scissors and markers and pencils and tape, my, my, um, um, hot glue, hot glue gun is there. My hot, uh, embossing gun is there. I have my old reading journals over there. I have cards that are not made yet uh, there. Then I made a bin on the top is for my daughters. Um, as I print things up, um, I stick things in there for them to take out and use in their, um, in their planners and stuff. So pictures and stuff that I printed that they are able to use. It's like their inbox there. So moving across here, um, I have my six by six papers are here and above that are some more rubber stamps and crayons and cards that are made already on the top. So, and then I have the pens here and below that I kept this and they are sorted by 
red, orange, yellow by the rainbow all the way down. Uh, and in these, I have embellishments that are those colors or ABC letters that are those colors. So if I pull out these things, I have lots and lots of yellow uh, ABC stickers and stuff. Um, I was a hoarder of ABC stickers, so I have a lot. And every drawer is different colors. So if I move out, everyone is sorted by color so I can find it quickly. And then on this side, I have my glue, uh, little mini bags, more glue, um, rubber stamps in one drawer, and goes all the way down for large punches, all different stuff that's in those drawers. So I sorted it out. Oh, moving across, I have um, things that I got at the dollar store. I've been buying these... Um, chopping boards and using them for painting and for covers on my planner they go there and i have lots of coloring books and again here's my washi and uh, it is sorted by color um each bin comes out which i really really love so you could take the whole bin so i want to use yellow i take the whole bin to my desk use what i want and put it right back so really cool and I have an overflow on the top or overflow ones, lots of washi that didn't fit in there. So that's just really target stuff that um, my daughter doesn't really like these anymore. She's like, mom, why don't you throw them out? But uh, I don't want to throw them out because there are some good ones in here. Um, yeah, there's like donuts. There's really good, some stuff, really good stuff in here. So I was like, I'm not throwing it out. So I just made a bin and... I said, check that bin if you want. So that's on the top there. Going across is my puncher thing. And these are my stamp pads that my kids can use. Um, yeah, these are retired stamp pads from Stampin' Up. Remember, I used to sell it. <laughs> so I have a lot of stamp pads. Uh, but those are retired colors. And I kept them all for my kids to use. And next to it is my stamp pads. And this is... These are the colors that are in now. So those are mine. I tell my kids, use theirs, which is this, and don't touch mine. So yeah, so that's how I have it sorted. So they like to rub a stamp as well. And then in the below this, I got this when I was working at um, one of the kids' stores. I was working at one of the kids' stores, and th this is like a shoe bin type thing, and they were going out of business, so he gave it to me. And this is really cool because it fits um, those boxes. If you see the boxes there, um, really cool. And also the bins. And I have all my embellishments and punches and everything else in there. And I have stickers and stuff. So if I pull it out, I have spring, summer, winter, fall, and belt embossing all the way on the bottom, glitter paint, washi tape on that one and love and project life so yeah those are different bins there so lots of bins so if i pull them out say if i want to go to fall i pull out my full bin in here i have all my full stickers papers all halloween all the way goes down all the way to washi which is in the bottom so here's all my stickers and here are my washi inside the bin so yeah i'm liking it so i could do each i could keep them separate so that's how i am storing it and which works out great because i only have to take one bin at a time while i'm working so that's that i'm gonna put this back here okay so moving across um, I put this table here for Naomi or uh, Victoria when they come to visit me. They uh, come and this is their work desk, but they have to bring everything back upstairs uh, into their own rooms now because uh, I like the room. I like this table clean, and so I told them they have to clean up after they work. So moving across here um, is my file cabinet where I put the bills and uh, papers and my eight and a half by uh, 11 cardstock is in my top drawer and it's sorted by rainbow there going across 
and then I have all my printout stickers. I made a folder here for all my happy planner stickers that I've been printing out. Look at that, how pretty. So yeah, so I made a folder. So then I could go in here. These are all stickers. And I just pick out stickers that I like to um, use in my happy planner. So that's that there. Okay, so I have my paper trimmer here on the top. I have my, I make cards. So I needed this to make the indent, uh, to make the cards, the fold. And then going across is my Sizzix and my printer. This is my printer, my little printer. I have the um, pencil sharpener next to it. And below that, in that green bin, is all my Sizzix stuff. And below that is all my card envelopes to for my cards, because I make cards. And then going across is more 12 by 12 paper in that big box bin on the bottom. And I have my laminator there. I have the very, very old laminator. Um, yeah, I have the Xyron 850, which is really, really old. Man, <laughs> I should get update and get the new one that everybody has now, but that's, I'm still using that. So here is my lighting system. And then my husband had this great idea to put this thing on top of my table here. So I have these bins that goes all the way up. So I'm using more of my stuff. On the very top is my photos that um, just miscellaneous photos that I found. Then I have my um, planners in the top bin there. And that black bin is actually empty on the right. And below that, I think my blue thing is empty as well uh, behind the teddy bear and the thing there. And across here is really cool. This has my um, paints and stuff which is cool, so I could do that. And below that in here, I have all my electronics. And below, next to this here is my library bin. These are books that I have out from the library right now and movies that I have out. And the, in here is all my bookmarks. And in the back, I have bookmarks too. There's a little bin there. So below here, this has all my miscellaneous stuff. I stuck everything in there. It's kind of full. This is my extra stuff, my extra tape, my extra paper, um, just dif di different things that are extra. I just stuck everything in there. And of course it's stuck. That is my bookmark that says fiction. And below here is a little night thing I, that I made. And it's Halloween-y and it actually lights up. So yeah. I made that out of paper. I'm gonna put stick that up there. And below here is a turnabout, but it doesn't turn in here. So this has more uh, different tools that I use, like my hole punch. So yeah, hole punch and water pens. So lots of stuff in here. So that's that. The next bin next to here is the school stuff that I get from the PTA and stuff. I stick it in there. And I have paper towels and I'm charging my iPad. My printer is there. Over here is my happy planner, but actually it's just my planner, the one that I made. And next year's planner is up here. And I have bins in here with different things. And uh, these two drawers are empty right now. This is my feelings journals is sitting here and in this cabinet here, I have my um, photos on CD. I have money that I'm saving for books. I have my happy planner up there, uh, my recollections planner, um, CDs that I didn't get rid of. Above up here, I put all my, um, extra 12 by 12 cardstock. So that's up there, my Xyron things, cartridges across, going across. I have my Woodstock there. I have more planners and stuff on the top. I have pens and stuff. This is stuff that I use a lot of in here. I use my pens. I have my watercolor crayons, watercolor paints, everything's there 
for me to access. And over here are all my hole, hole punches for the planners. Above are more pens. And below here is my reading journal where it says journal. My reading journal is in there. I have a get it done folder. There's a picture of me and my husband on our wedding day. I stuck it on there. And this is stuff that I use frequently. I use these dots for to note things on my calendar. I use the green a lot to note when I take money at an ATM or when I spend money. And here is my laptop going across. Um, and this is stuff that I use frequently. Here is more washi and stuff that I use frequent. My drink. Sorry, I'm moving that out of the way. Um, and in here I have my trimmer. I cut a lot with these things. I have my glue and my ink. And this stuff is all that I use frequently. I have pens and stuff there. On this side, I have, moving the water again, I have stencils that I made. It's really cool. And then I just trace these and paper and more stuff. And here are my stickers that I use very frequently. I use these a lot. I made my own little sticker book is there. So it works great because it fits in this drawer and it's right at my fingertips when I'm working right here. And on the bottom is my pen that I use frequently and stamp sets that I use a lot of and pens and stuff. So, and then I also have these drawers that have a lot of stuff. Um, everything is sorted and put back in there uh this is where i have my stickers these are um long stickers that fit in here and they're sorted by category so i could find something quickly and they're all in this drawer sorted and in the bottom is all my scraps so this way i don't have to go to the other side of the room <laughs> And here I have paper clips and notepads. And in here I have my billing. And on the bottom is also my billing. This has my billing. It's kind of empty because I moved everything to my file cabinet. So over here in this bin here is where I keep my rubber stamps that I'm using frequently. And I stuck them in here. These are the ones that I use a lot of. So they're right here accessible. And these are journaling prompts that I printed out. Stuck there. And my new set that I just got from Stampin' Up! With the, with the months and things. So that's everything is here. It is very standy to come out. I could stick this onto my desk. Keep it simple. And it's portable. I could go into another room. I have my paintbrushes and pens and whatever else on the other side. Very portable. Wherever I want to go, I could just carry this along. And it's really convenient. And I stick it in here on the side. So then I have my planner to go on the bottom. That's this here. And this is a 31 product. Um, it is a beauty bag. And this is what I use when I go to Michael's and I have just different things in here. Actually, it's empty right now because I have my planner out, but this is my carry-on bag and that's where I'm storing it. So really cool because you can fit washi and all that. There's little pockets and stuff. So that's, I store, I store it on the bottom here. And then in here I have just paper and uh, toner and things like go to my computer so that's that so that is the tour of my room I hope you enjoyed this and I will do a quick overview from the door again so here we go so when you walk in I'm, I'm getting winded from talking but here you go um, this is what you see when you walk into my room so really quickly 
quick view going across and I really like that I made a library bin there so I know when my library books are out and they are nice. Notice I have no books in here except for the library bins. Oh, I am wrong. I do have two books in here. I'm going to go back to show you where they are. Okay, right here I have two books in here. Um, I have a new book that I didn't even do yet. I got Hidden Treasures um, by Patty Newlin. And this one I got because Fly Lady recommended I read it. So I have this on the side of my desk. And I also have Don't Sweat the Small Stuff for Moms sitting on the side of my desk I haven't read yet so those are just two books here not my library books which are up there so anyway thank you for watching and I will see you in another video bye